yeah, yeah. I'm living my best life. Made a couple M, you know. I said, I'm living my best life. I said, I'm living my best life. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to my channel, Random Opinions Reaction Reviews. If you don't know who I am by now, you got to get with the program. Today, I'm coming to do a review on the episode that aired today on General Hospital. Today's date is August 27th, so let's go ahead and get into this. Now, we start off where we left off with Chase knocking on the door. Um, at the Corinthos mansion. Jason, Sonny, and Carly, they're sitting down. They're having a jolly old time till they get this knock on the door. Sonny answers the door. Chase is like, hey, I need to question you about our employee, Barry. His wife reported him missing. And Sonny's like, oh, yeah, I don't know anything about that. You know, I haven't heard anything in particular regarding Barry. Chase asks to come in, and he he questions Jason. Jason he questions uh, Sonny to the best of his ability, and then Dev comes in looking for Jocelyn. And Chase is like, "Oh, but since you're here, let me go ahead and question you about Barry. Have you heard anything?" And Dev is like, "Oh no, we, I haven't heard anything about Barry. Oh, he's a he's a good employee. Nobody's heard anything bad about him. You no, know, laying it on real thick." And he goes on to say, "Yes, Barry taught me everything I I uh, needed to know when I first came on and started working for Corinthos Coffee." He said, oh, he was raving about this uh, trip that he had bought for his wife uh, to Atlantic City. Chase is like, well, his wife didn't mention that to me. And he says, oh, you know, it was a, it was supposed to be a surprise. Sonny was not happy. So Chase leaves out and Sonny takes Dev off to the side. And he's like, when the police officers, when the cops question you, you say three words. I don't know. Don't ever lie to the cops because then they'll follow up on the leads that you've given them and then they'll break apart your story and then you will be sitting there looking stupid. I didn't ask you to lie. Don't lie next time. And Dev is like, oh, I was just trying to help. And he even asked Sonny, like, do you know what happened to Barry? And Sonny's like, I haven't the slightest clue. <laughs> so, Dev, Scott and Bobby. They're at Charlie's, and Bobby is there to help Scott. She lets him know she caught the bouquet at the wedding, and Scott is like, yeah, you know what that means, right? And Bobby is like, look, I don't believe in all that superstition. But Scott asked her to help him with Franco. Like, what's to keep Franco from leaving once this whole ankle monitor is lifted off of him? He's going to dart and get away from Port Charles. So he pretty much wants Bobby to fake a diagnosis of influenza A on Franco to keep him in town and quarantine him pretty much in the hospital. Bobby, she splashed like she had a cup of water and she threw it up in Scott's face. And she's like, you know what? I should have known when we got together you was going to be using me and all kinds of stuff. And Scott's like, look, I just don't know what to do. Like, you my last hope. And she says, there's nothing we can do for Franco at this time. Franco has to decide that he wants this done for himself. And Scott is like, look, I just thought it'd be a good idea to ask you because because all my kids are gone. My parents, Gail, all, they're they're gone. But he even mentions Logan, which Scott never really mentions Logan. Like, he'll mention Karen every now and then and his other daughter. But he doesn't really mention Logan like that. He even mentioned that Logan was gone. And he's like, now I've lost Franco. He don't know what to do. So Bobby comforts him and gives him a hug. That was nice. Franco's at the hotel and he gets a knock on the door and who is it? Lisa Obrecht, right? So he's like, oh, I need more towels. She slapped the dog mess out of him. Like, and he's like, uh, okay, like maybe I should be calling the cops on you. <laughs> and she goes into this rant on how he needs to snap out of it. And he is Franco. He is not Drew. Obert is like, look, I'll be the friend to get you through this. And he's like, you know what? Okay, so you're Franco's friend. You kind of seem like a lunatic, but okay. <laughs> she says, you know what, Franco, you've gotten me through a lot of things and now it's my turn to return the favor. And she starts to talk to him, like legitly talk to him. Like, look, if you're not going to come back for yourself, come back for me, your loved ones, your, your father, your stepson's, and your your wife like i never knew what you seen in that little mouse but you you love her and you did everything you could to to get in a relationship with her so 
why throw that all away? I think she kind of got to to Frank and Drew or Franco, whatever you want to call him. She gets a, a, a call or a text or something, and she's like, you know what? Okay, we'll finish this at a later time, but I'm not done with you. And he says, next time when you see me, keep your hands to yourself. And she was like, I can make, I cannot make any promises. And it was crazy because Frank and Drew was like, you know what? I feel sorry for Franco, but right now, like, these are my memories. This is my mind. I know it's not my body, but that's who I, Drew is who I want to be. Hmm. Kim is at Oscar Medal, right? And she gets a call from Liz. She don't even answer it. I was like, uh-huh. She starts to have a flashback of Franco or Drew or Frank and Drew, whatever you want to call them. Liz leaves a message to check in on Kim to see how she's doing. And then Julian shows up. And this woman, Kim, then sat up here and proposed to Julian. Like, look, we can go head down to City Hall, get married now. And Julian does not want to take advantage of Kim, so he says, no. Look, we need to make sure we have all our ducks in a row before we jump into marriage you know you're doing everything impulsively after the loss of oscar and i understand that i'm always going to be here for you i'm not going anywhere but we need to slow this down she's like you know what ultimately you're right he knew right away the only reason why she proposed to him was because of franco and she told the truth like yeah it is kind of because of him like but i i love you too i want to be in this relationship they go they head off to the hospital for her appointment with her therapist and while they're talking and kissing and lovey dubby, freaking Frank and Drew shows up, comes off the elevator and sees them kissing. I'm like, Oh that had to hurt. And Michael talks to Finn, he wants an update on Sasha's condition. Finn lets him know, Hey, we found out what the strain is. We put her on medication, but we're not sure how she's going to react to the medication. But we need to start you on an antiviral because you could have contracted this disease from her. Then, like I said yesterday, Nina gets a message from Cassandra Pierce. She goes to Valentine like, look, I know exactly what's going on with my daughter. This stupid, b you know, I ain't even going to say it, but it rhymed with witch. So she was like, yeah, this woman didn't did this to my daughter. Valentine and Nina go to Finn and tell Finn what's going on. And Finn is like, look, we got to report this to the police right away. And Valentine going to say, you know what? I have a lot of things going on with Cassandra's things. I don't want getting out to the police. So how about we keep this between us? No, Valentine. Finn is a mandated reporter. He is not going to put his, his job on the line for you. He has to report this. And Finn is like, we need to report this so that we can make sure that this doesn't happen to anybody else. So Nina and Valentin come in to tell Sasha they know why she's going through what she's going through. And they show her the picture of Cassandra. Sasha, she recognizes her right off the back like, oh, that's Sandy Lance. And they're like, no, this is Cassandra. She is part of a huge dr drug cartel and she is after Nina. Michael initially believes that Cassandra had something to do with his father. And they're like, nope, it has to do with me, Nina. We'll see if Sasha's able to recover from this. Liz and Epiphany have a brief scene where Epiphany shows up to Liz's house to make sure she's okay. And she's like, look, I get what's going on with Franco. I get that everybody's worried about Franco, but I'm here checking up strictly on you. What is going on with you? How are you doing? And Liz is like, I don't know if I'll ever get my husband back. Drew said for me to keep a distance because if I continue to pursue Franco, it's going to push him away. And Epiphany is like, that's the dumbest ish I ever heard in my life. Like, you got to do what's in your heart to do. If you feel like it's right to continue to pursue Franco, to keep him near, you do that if it's in your heart. And Liz is like, yes, I want to fight for my man. So she's getting ready to, to get out the house and go find Franco. And then who shows up at her door? Frank and Drew. We'll see what happens with them tomorrow. So we had uh, some some nice little scenes today with uh, Michael reassuring Sasha that he is, she's not an inconvenience to him, and that he's going to continue to be by her side. Nina blames herself for what's going on with her daughter, even though it's not really her daughter. Finn alerts the authorities, Chase, 
on what's going on and how Cassandra has resurfaced back into the United States. Yeah, that was all for the episode. You guys let me know what were your thoughts on today's episodes. What storyline are you liking the most? And what can you get rid of? Those are my go-to questions. So you guys let me know in the comments below, okay? You guys, I am deeply sorry about what happened with my freaking upload for yesterday's review. Like, I kept trying to upload it. And for some reason, YouTube would not let me do it. And I still don't even know what happened. Like, I eventually, I just was able to upload it. So, I'm hoping I don't have the same problems with this video. But like I said, give me a big thumbs up. Like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell to receive notifications to when I upload new videos. And I will see you guys later. Bye. I finally made my mind know that I can't go back broke. They saying that my time up, my back against the rope. I hustle got my grind, know that when I made the most. I had faith every night and I never lost no hope.